Next up, we have the most driven, focused guy I've ever met. It means sometimes he doesn't laugh at my jokes. However, however, he is exactly what the retail industry needs. He gives us confidence in the future of the retail industry. So let's welcome Joe to the stage. What is the most distressed asset class in real estate today? Retail. <laughs> Stole the answer. Okay. It's retail. <laughs> Let's look at the numbers. 2017 holds the record for the most number of store closures in the last 20 years. Retail loan default rates soared from 1% to 5% last year. And the not so good news is that experts say that number is going to rise over 12% in 2018. Lenders and financial lenders are hurting. The owners of these distressed assets are hurting. But at the center of it all, the ones who are hurting the most are the tenants. Meet Molly. Molly is an owner operator of a retail chain in the Midwest. She's a fashion connoisseur. She loves her products. She knows her consumers inside and out. But last year when she entered a new market for the first time, she opened the store in a wrong location and she shut down the store in the first six months and lost two million dollars that she had spent getting that store up and running. The problem with Molly's location was her location. She was in the wrong neighborhood, she was in the wrong side of the street, there was just not enough demand for the product where she opened her store. There's tens of thousands of people like Molly. Retail site selection is a big problem. It's not that retailers today are incapable, it's that today they lack the right tools and technology to make data-driven decisions on where to open their stores. Hi everyone, I'm Joe, I'm the co-founder and CEO of Locate AI, and we can predict where tenants should open their stores. We've built a platform using artificial intelligence that can predict future revenue potentials for retail chains for any location across the country. Retail site selection in our space has been a huge mess up to this point. It's been mostly dominated by old school consultants who haven't really innovated in the last 20 years. They're still operating on huge Excel spreadsheet models, They'll create a huge PDF report for your national go-to-market strategy. And a lot of the times, it just doesn't work. I'll tell you a funny story. Our head of sales came from one of those consulting companies. And one of the last models that he delivered before he left, he was driving around in his car, delivering the model to one of his restaurant clients. And they were following the GPS around to find the next gold mine for their next location. They followed the model, and the model led them to open the next restaurant location on top of a graveyard. Now, I know I'm here to, to preach artificial intelligence, but I can tell you, I don't need any tech to tell you that that was probably not the right location for the restaurant chain. At Locate AI, we are, our mission is to create the largest geospatial database so that we can see signals on what makes tenants successful that no one else can see. To date, we have assembled over 100,000 geospatial variables across 11 million US blocks. Some of the data sets include offline consumer behavior. So for example, as all of us here leave our homes and stop by a coffee shop on the way to work and then go to a grocery store on the way back home, we can actually follow your footsteps and actually trace where you go throughout the city. We know where consumers like to shop, where they dine, where they frequent on the weekends, where they are during the day, where they're at night, where they work, and even where they live. It's creepy, I know, but trust me, <laughs> it's, it's all anonymized, I swear. <laughs> uh, social media data tells us consumer demands. We have data on vehicle counts. We have data on uh, demographics, psychographics, uh, how people vote in an area, median household income, social dynamics, the weather, anything you can imagine that might potentially impact the success of a tenant, 
we are collecting that information and we apply machine learning algorithms to create predictive insights on where they should open their stores. For the tenants, it's very simple. They log into our online cloud-based system and they can visualize the model and actually see the data behind where they should open their stores. They can zoom in and actually get revenue forecasts for any street address in the country. I'll repeat that. They can run our forecast and get any revenue potential for any street address in the country. Right, so if, if you open a store on Broadway and 41st, we can tell you that that revenue potential is $1.1 million, whereas Broadway and 43rd on the right side of the street is $1.8 million. Imagine if Molly had this tool, right? Instead of picking the wrong location, she could have predicted that, and she could have identified locations that would have made her $2 million a year as opposed to losing the $2 million. With a click of a button, retailers can download this report and seamlessly share this inf information across their organization. Since our launch, we have started working with some of the largest national tenants around the country. Some of them include Sprint, Boost Mobile, Quick Quack Car Wash, Slim Chickens, Newmark Knight Frank, and Scrubs and beyond. We've solved this problem so far for the tenants, but we believe we're today at the tip of the iceberg in terms of how our technology can impact the broader retail market. For example, earlier I talked about owners. There's a ton of owners that are hurting today. They're sitting on distressed assets. Maybe their, their largest anchor tenant just filed for bankruptcy and they've gone vacant. They're paying taxes on those vacancies. They're struggling to pay off their loans. The big question for a lot of owners in the next few years is going to be, what is the highest and best use of my space? We can use our technology to intelligently match the right use and the right tenants to the right space. Lenders can use our tech to figure out where to finance and refinance distressed assets. Investors and developers can identify development opportunities and identify arbitrage opportunities in terms of identifying where they should invest in distressed assets and using our technology to restabilize those assets. Brokerages can use our technology to create tech-enabled services for their clients, and the list goes on and on. Artificial intelligence is changing the retail marketplace as we now know it, and let me introduce you to the team that's behind that transformation. I'm Joe, my amazing co-founders are Peter and Steven. Uh, we have worked for some of the top technology institutions in Silicon Valley. And we have degrees in computer science and data science from Stanford University. Our team leads up here. They have over 15 years of AI experience and have offered in the retail space for over 30 years. We have formed a strategic advisory board who have invested, developed, owned, and operated thousands of retail stores across the country. The retail industry today is in distress. There's a lot of volatility, a lot of stuff going on. But that presents a very, very unique opportunity and time for Locate AI to use artificial intelligence to help the industry get back on its feet and find its way to success. Thank you.